My name is my name. Like I wanted to sound epic. My my name. All right, just freaking start it and I'll do one. My name is Ryan Law, and my entire life, all I've ever wanted was to be a reality TV star. Reality. But after being rejected from every single show on the air, Arr. I created my own reality show Television. to be judged by a panel of really qualified experts. Is this guy for real? Shut up. So will I complete the challenge and win the prize, or will I fail and face the punishment? You have to become the best squeegee kid in the entire city. Become the best squeegee kid in the entire city. Oh, epic! No, no. This week's panel. Squeegeeing has been around since the early 1400s. No, that, that can't be right. Sorry, BJing has been around since the early 1400s. Squeegeeing has been around since the 1300s. And I could go way longer than that, even. That's cool. I took some pictures of some squeegee kids. Squeegee kid? Is that what they look like? Friggin' gnarly. Squeegee ah, kid. They threw that off. It's make me heave. And that's a picture. Well, of Ryan, what is the plan to become- Wait, fuck, they hit in the streets. Is that a picture of my- Well, it could be anybody's. You could you just quit crit on there. You freak, you pervert. The first thing I learned about squeegeeing is that it's very important to not have a home. I like living outside. I like, I like living outside. Is that outfit mandatory? No. Just tie, like, dress. Tie, tie, dress, dress. What I normally do in the morning is I put on four different outfits, Instagram a photo of them, wait like an hour or two, and whatever one gets the most likes, that's the one that I wear out for the day. But when they showed me where they slept, I was grossed the fuck out. And I decided to do things a little less homeless. Blown? Do you want hand sanitizer? Maybe get the lint off your shirt? Perfume for the missus? Sorry, you forgot to pay. Hey, money. But even with my sick outfit, I still felt like a homeless beggar proletarian. So I started a squeegee company and hired a bunch of dirty squeegee goons off Craigslist who could do all the work for me. Squeegee! My name's B. I'm from B. Dot. My name is Steven, and I just do whatever the hell I want. <laughs> One time I was squeegeeing this fucking Mercedes. This guy got out of the car and just punched me right in the face. Doing some windows, and a news reporter assaulted me, and I retaliated, and there was a charge on me. Yeah, right now I work at the carnival. I'm running the Starship. It spins around, and all you see is pooter all day long. Boobies flattening, pooter, boobies. You know, at least eight a day. I'm the host of the show, and apparently I'm squeegeeing too. And with eight dirt crops working for free, I was already making this challenge my bitch before the first commercial break. We're washing your car for a fee. I think that's pretty obvious. Nothing in life's free, honey. We got cheapskate alert. You're making my car worse than it was before. Pop it in there when you're ready. What? That's what it was about. Isn't everything about that, ma'am? Did you actually just take a crap behind the dumpster? In the dumpster. In the dumpster. Wait, wait, at our office? Yeah, well, I had to, man. But unfortunately, the good times didn't last. What time's lunchtime? When do we eat? I think I'm the wrong guy to ask him. No. I am hungry. Because the dirt grub with the criminal record, there was a charge on me, had infected the whole staff. And I had no choice but to stop production and provide the entire crew with bologna sandwiches. I was a little misled. I thought, you know, get a little more than that. And just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, the squeegee crew started to give me their views on religion. I was baptized as a Roman Catholic. As far as I'm concerned, I don't give two shits about that. I think you should be spiritual to a degree, but not let God run your life, like let him take your money and body of Christ. Like that's cannibalism, is it not? And I needed to whip the dirt grubs into shape quick. Don't call them dirt grubs. I think that's so rude. They're not all dirty and, and smelly and whatever. The ones that I'm at were. As far as I'm concerned, men are very autophilic. They love their vehicles and they also are, well, at least the heterosexual men are. If you want to have this successful business, then you need to be the leader because you're exploiting them and they're gonna get that. You know, if you want to be a bourgeoisie and not a proletariat, you sort of have to exploit people. Nine out of 10 heterosexual men would be interested in your services. I mean, maybe you shouldn't have had a gay guy a straight woman and then a straight guy on the panel for this. Oh. Oh. 
Since the dirt grubs were eating all my profits, I decided to expand my cash flow by offering people the chance to have my crew squeegee their houses. So less than the price of a cup of coffee and we'll squeegee all the windows, the mirrors, everything. Would you be interested in that? Not really. But eventually she was convinced. And after hidden fees and service charges, the service was gonna cost her big. Unless, of course, we could work out some sort of arrangement. Boyfriend? Not a boyfriend. So single. Somewhere. But you can keep your shirt buttons up. Sir? <laughs> just pretend the cameras aren't here. It's just me and you alone in the room. Basically, I started this company. I've got these guys working for me, right? Mm -hmm. But I, the, tr the thing is, I make all the money. Mm -hmm. So, because I actually could, like, treat you nice, you know? Whatever happens on the couch stays on the couch. Yep, and this will stay on the couch. I was pretty sure that we were gonna have sex, or at the very least a handy, which meant I would only charge her half price. We get, we clear the room, me and you, whatever happens, happens. Not gonna happen. <laughs> Grand total, $75. So, you can pay that. Mm -hmm. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> Then she insisted that the cameras leave and we made love for about an hour. Next time for sure though. But squeegeeing houses was just the beginning. And I had already lined up another potential squeege coat client. Yeah, but it's a window, you know what I mean? It doesn't take much, some Windex, some paper towel, you know. Just moments before you told me that clean windows are unimportant. Not necessarily, just the... Well, that's what, kind of that's what you said, though. But it's a window, you know what I mean? Yeah. If you ask your customers, I'm sure they'd prefer a clean window to a cockroach-infested hellhole. Yeah, it doesn't matter who cleans them, that's the important part. You said it's not that important to have a clean window. No, I said it's not that important who cleans them. So we're gonna do a demonstration. Okay. I'd like you to tell me a little bit about the restaurant. Uh, I wanted to do a fish-based fish restaurant called uh, the Happy Hooker. Now, the, right. ha the Happy Hooker, what the hell is that? I'm listening. Um, that's not clean. Uh, and then, uh, you know, yeah. I'll keep going. I'm listening. Okay. Oh, you're listening? You don't sound like you're listening. So, uh, I don't know. What, what is this nonsense you got going on over here? I don't... So now I'd like you to tell me a little bit about your business with a clear field of vision. Okay. So, we're called the Happy Hooker. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, about 95% fish, nice. fish tacos, fish sandwiches, fish and chips. Are you into fish? Which of those two conversations did you prefer? Naturally the one without the dirty window. Oh, so you did me. like that one better. Yeah, oh, yeah, nice, cool. Better. I was hoping you'd say that. Yeah. All right, we got a deal. And while my crew tuned up his windows nice, I moved on to yet another potential client. So we're gonna do a little role playing experiment here. I asked Dan to play the role of a friend who I would be meeting at his tea shop to show him how difficult his disgusting windows would make that. Ryan! What'd you, what'd you guys do last night? I saw you take those uh, two girls home, you and your buddy. Uh, yeah, yeah, they were lost, so we helped them get home. Then what? Uh, you the wood? Time? Wood? No, 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 no. There was no wood. Where are you anyway? Uh, I'm in the tea shop. I think you're right in front of me. See, I hear you say that, but I'm looking through the window. This must be a smoke factory, the way that the, these windows are filthy. I can't see a thing, so... Oh, yeah, I see you clearly. You know what, I'm at the wrong place. Oh, no. But because Dan's windows were so abysmal, I was forced to get a David's tea instead. Are we still gonna do that tea? Yeah, if you're interested. Uh, actually, I'm not. What I wanna do here is offer you something the David's Tees can't. Clean windows. Right. And... Squeege Co. was officially a success. And I was making more cash than I knew what to do with. Let's just say that tonight we got a little bit of entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. Still going, still going, still going nowhere. Still going, still going, still going nowhere. Still just a stoner. A renter, not owner. And just like my dad said, we're still going nowhere. Cause we're still Original going, invoice was it was 80 bucks, $5,000. This is a sausage fest. What? A sausage fest. Awesome fest? Yeah, thanks. No, it's a hammer party. I didn't Slumber know this. party. You know what, Max? I actually think you're a pretty good guy.
Jerry, I have no idea how you got this job. Get out of my face. How much this cost? Depends how much you want me to do. The works! thousand dollars. Please leave me alone. All I really need is a cone. Because I'm at ease when I'm stoned. So you. Hello? Hi, Ryan. Um, I, I've been going over your bank statements, and I, I gotta ask you, how much did that party cost you? Oh, you heard about the party, eh? You heard that Jared got a little bit whoop whoop. Jared so got I did a little not whoop, whoop. whoop. I did. That was a pile of slop. Can you please tell me to knock your whoop whoop? Dude, you were so busted. I saw everything. He was puking everywhere, and then he fell over beside the John. I caught the whole thing on my toilet cams. You can't get away with anything. I've got every toilet in this whole building wired up right to a mainframe of my stepdad's bachelor pads. You are busted, Jared. You're busted. <laughs> <laughs> I was officially out of money. Give us some money to buy some beer. And it looked like my only hope would be to sell Squeege Co. So I reached out to the owners of Classic Auto Spot to give them the opportunity to buy Squeege Co. for $500,000. Classic Auto Spot does high-end detailing. And to let them know that I was serious, I had our producers explain to them that they were like dragons on a new reality show. You've seen the disgusting Squeegee kids on the street? Yes, or, yeah, I've, they, I've seen, maybe not disgusting, but I've seen... Disgusting's a harsh way to put it, but... Yeah. So I have a bunch of disgusting Squeegee kids working for me, and I'm making all the money basically myself. Before I even make any offer, I'd have to see your numbers. That's one. Any, any business runs, but this is not numbers, this is just a... a <laughs> this is just a picture that you pulled off of Google. Well, I don't know anyone in their right mind that's gonna be starting a business that don't have an idea what it's gonna cost to run that business on a day-to-day -day basis. And something realistic and well, tangible for us to be able to... zero dollars an hour, so I mean, if you tally that up... Okay, I don't... We've what making, did you? We've been making stupid money. Okay, what did you make last year, in 2012? What were your profits? The company's only been running for about a week now. You've invested zero, so how could you have made any profits? Because oh, I have a bunch of idiots working for free. So you're organizing them, but you're not paying them. So they're right. I'm not paying them. I'm paying them jack shit. They're losing. They would have been making more doing it on their own and right, approaching people's cars. But they're, but they're cars. retards. Apparently, they're not retards because. By doing it on their own and collecting the money on their own terms, right. they'd be making... Once you buy the company, you can run it how you want it. I mean, If I... we paid them a penny, we'd be paying them anything. And that's none of my concern, once you buy the business. I remember when I first started my company, and... Well, not everyone has daddy's money to throw around, though. Well, I don't have a daddy's money to throw around either, right? Where did you get it, then? To the bank. Okay, so your dad's a bank teller. What does that have to do with money? Okay, and... That 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 um, that be, being not being relevant because my dad's not a bank teller for one. You need a business plan, a concrete business plan. You need you know a projection of your blah, sales. Blah, you need. Blah blah I wasn't listening to any of that. To tell you the truth, sorry. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I don't believe that we're okay. interested. Okay. Like, I have a business to run. And this piece of shit just passed on the deal of a lifetime. Okay, ideas. Well, we could cut some of the staff. I wanted to say table tennis. Does that apply? We need to vertically integrate. We could environment. horizontally integrate. No, we need to create the demand. We could get so Rogers on demand and watch Stick to a demo. We could make a demo with guitar. Counteract the recession. We could have recess with playgrounds and kids. Well, obviously your salary could take a little bit of a haircut. What's this table tennis idea? Ryan, right, really glad you said that. I think we should set up a net, get some paddles, some balls, a table, you know, just, just like... Forget all this squeegee mm -hmm. stuff. Who How does, does that help? How does Mr. Long getting a haircut help? I said his salary get a haircut. Obviously a term you... And as the guys argued, I flashed back to some advice I'd gotten earlier from my business. Coach. Well, you know what? You gotta keep on believing in yourself, but sometimes you might have to make that little quick change. You just gotta make the move. So I have a bunch of disgusting squeegee kids working for me. Coming from the guy who wore Crocs to the Olive Garden? You're a pervert, Jared. I I'm a pervert? What's this about you putting pee cams in the bathroom? I like living outside. Quick change. Did you actually take a crap behind the dumpster? Squeegee! What's worse, Jared? Crocs or pee cams? Well, I'd say pee cams are a little bit worse. Since you're a quick change. I am hungry. It's the Olive Garden. And I finally realized what my business coach had been trying to tell me. Quick change. I'm the house DJ at Boston Pizza on Thursday nights. I, I don't need this. To provide the best squeegee experience in the city, I had to turn this into this. Squeege Co. was officially reborn as Babe Co. And I was sure that the expert panel was gonna fucking love it.
You say you always on tour. Where you at, homeboy? You say you had a hit record. No one heard that, boy. He say the radio love him. They don't play that, boy. I'm making me get the look at me. I'm always on tour. I do that, boy. I've got hit records. You heard that, boy. I'm always on the radio. They love me, boy. I'm making me get make it look, look, look. Will Ryan's squeegee car wash be enough to secure his spot as the best squeegee kid in the entire city? And so this week's expert panel consisted of a TV personality, a bald black guy, and my sixth grade teacher. All right, we can now bring in the contestant. Who would decide whether or not I won that nasty spa gift certificate. Over the break, you have each watched a one minute video of Ryan's performance. Starting with you, Philip, what did you think? Uh, uh, you had good intentions at the beginning and you turned into a pig. I mean, I don't want two floozies in tiger print bikinis washing my car. First of all, because I like men. Well, just because you do, though, don't ruin it for the rest of us who would probably enjoy it. I just think it's stupid. If I was gonna be the best in the city, that would be hot girls and not a bunch of dirt grubs with dirty water on the Don't car. call them dirt grubs, I think that's so rude. If you saw one of those squeegee kids in like a bar, you wouldn't give them a second look. No, I wouldn't. We're but, not thinking about the squeegee kids that already exist whose jobs will be taken over. Well, the ones I met, they work like two hours a day, if that. And I even had the guys working for me and they were like the laziest people I've like ever met in my life. So. They think that if you want to have this successful business, you need to be the one who's working the hardest. But that was sort of the whole point is that I didn't want to like get my hands dirty, so I... Then it's not the right Not the right thing for, for you, you to do. Why were you not half-naked squeegeeing cars? But you need to be the squeegee kid first. Which I did. Didn't like it. Hired didn't a bunch like of people. It. No, you didn't much. work hard enough. And you didn't. Well, I felt like a you know poor person. So poor people. Okay. <laughs> anyway, well, I might be approaching this at a somewhat different place than my colleagues here, but uh, I was quite impressed by your intrepid spirit of entrepreneurism here. Yeah, your entrepreneurship I thought was very, very well executed. So you sort of flip flop now. You like it? Nope. I didn't flip flop. I still think you're exploiting women and and. Ah, but the question then is if we had a bunch of. Buff, hot, good-looking guys. And, uh, well, that's what I mean. Well, if you were happy, yeah, I would be. He might appeal to a very that. interesting homosexual demographic in that case. One hundred percent. So if I agree to make that tweak, yes. will we agree that I completed it? Perhaps. Ryan, do you have any final thoughts? I just want to say this is progress. You know, if you guys are scared of that, don't hold that against me. On the count of three. You will now hold up either a pass or a fail, determining Ryan's fate. One. Two. Three. I hate myself. And just so you know, that when we do it in the future, there's gonna be tons of dudes, there's gonna be thongs, they're gonna be naked, the whole thing. And I'm gonna send them to your house. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! And after changing the face of business, it was finally time to take a load off. But as I soaked it up at the spa, I began to think about some of the constructive criticism I was given. Why were you not half naked squeegeeing cars? homosexual demographic in that case. 100%. And when we do it in the future, there's gonna be tons of dudes, there's gonna be thongs, they're gonna be naked. And I decided to give the expert panel what they demanded. Hi, I'm Ryan Long, reality TV star and CEO of Squeegeco Enterprises. And I couldn't be more proud to announce the release of Squeegeco for Boys, or as I'm calling it, Beachco. Clean windows don't discriminate, and neither do we. So whatever your passion, whatever your pleasure, do it with a clean window, a beach coat clean window.